The first topic we're going to get into in calculus is uh, speed or average versus instantaneous speed. And uh, usually we think about that in miles per hour. Of course, it might be kilometers per hour, depending on where you are. And just think about that as distance units divided by time units. And I think you should pause the video, take a minute, write down everything that's on this page. We're going to write quite a bit more, but write down everything that's above this line here. So now we are going to look a bit more closely at this average speed right here. So it's again distance traveled divided by time. Now delta is a Greek letter. Delta means change in. And so we have delta y over delta t. So change in distance divided by change in time. A lot of times you're going to see the x variable down here. And depending on the problem, um, x or t will be your independent or your input variable. Now, if we have a position function that is y equals f of t, of course, this could be y equals f of x. Just like I said, x and t kind of play the same role. The reason we use t quite a bit in calculus is because it refers to time. So we're going to look a little bit more closely at this uh, average speed here. So just like y equals f of t, uh, we have, let's see, we can do So we want to look at uh, two, the change in y is two different y values. So we could do y1 minus y0 divided by x1 minus x0. Now this should look familiar because this is uh, right from the, uh, what is it, the slope of a line. So if you have the slope of a line, usually this would be m equals, and that would be your slope of a line right there. So that's one way to remember this. And of course, if we use the f notation, y1 would be f of the x1 value and y2 is f of x2. So I'm just going to make those two substitutions up here for y1 and y, y1 and y0. Um, I think in the point slope form they use uh, y1 and y2, but that's all right, y0 x0 playing the same role as y2 x2. So here we have f of x1 minus f of x0 divided by x1 minus x0. Oh, and I just said t and x are interchangeable, so you might see x down there. You might see t if I rewrote it with t's. It's the same exact formula, just t's f of t1 minus f of t0 divided by t1 minus t0. All right, so this is just the slope of a line. And this is for uh, average speed. Now this is average speed between two different time values, t1 and t0. So average has to occur over a certain um, start and end time. And the t0 is a start time, t1 is the end time. So it's the average speed on the interval t0 comma t1. Make sure your comma does not look like your one. I make my comma a little bit curved and I make my one, I try to make my one more straight and vertical. All right, so we have average rate of change formula right here. This is probably the one you're gonna see in the book. Uh, these are B and A are just two different X values or two different T values and it comes from exactly that formula right above. So now we have this average rate of change formula. We're gonna do uh, some problems based on this. And then we're going to look at the instantaneous rate of change in a little bit.